so basically like uh, once the contract will be signed up so the next activity is the utilization of the contract right so the customer they can utilize the contract either in the procurement module in the ariba so if they have the like you know ptp module in the ariba itself so the contract will be like available in the procurement module and they can simply initiate the purchasing activity so that is one case and second case is that like in case if the customer they do not have the procurement module and in that case like they have to utilize the contract in their backend sap system so that the, in that case like the contract will be automatically created in the backend sap system and they can simply like initiate that ptp activity in the backend sap system so basically if you see that from p2p point of view so in that case whatever the different process flow that's something we have to follow so how we have to like initiate the purchasing activity so you know like in the first step we have to create the pr that is your purchase requisition and after pr we have to convert this pr into purchase order right after purchase order we have the receiving part that is your goods receipt in the next invoice and after that we have to make the payment right so if you see that at high level so this p2p p2p process we have to follow from the business perspective so this is something high level process flow but inside that we have some other process as well so for example like after po if we require to receive that poc poc miss purchase order confirmation or if you require to like receive that advance pay notification that is asn so that option is also available so in case like if you require to receive the order confirmation we can just add this step here that order confirmation and in the next we can also receive this asn as well right so these are the activity that's something like uh, that we have to like uh, uh, follow from the procurement point of view and so just to perform all this activity from the procurement point of view that ariba has given that downstream module and sorry not in downstream basically ariba has like introduced this procurement module and with the help of the procurement module we can simply initiate any purchasing activity and we can end up with the payment okay so even the same thing like that just i written here in the top side so whenever that user they have to create the pr so in that case that we require that access of the purchasing user so the purchasing user person who that the, the person they will have the authorization to create the pr and in the pr like uh, once the pr will be created so based upon the approval process if that will be in place system will trigger the approval process and uh, once the pr will get fully approved the po will be generated automatically in the ariba so remember this is one change in the ariba as compared to our sap system that in sap ariba that we do not have any option to create that purchase order manually so the po will be created automatically but with the reference to pr that means every po will have the purchase equation and without pr we cannot create any purchase order in the sap ariba okay so once the PO will be created so automatically with reference to the PR. So in the next step, that PO will be transmitted to Ariba network. So, you know, like uh, as we earlier discussed, like uh, whenever we are creating any purchasing document in the Ariba, it is getting transmitted to supplier via the Ariba network. So it will uh, automatically transmit it to Ariba network and that uh, supplier will receive that like purchase order. And once the supplier will receive the purchase order, so he will have the options to con confirm the PO, that is the part of the like PO confirmation. And if it is required, they can also submit the ASN as well. ASN is nothing, ASN means is essential for the advanced shipping notification. Okay. So after this, like uh, they will supply the goods and from the buyer side that we have to like uh, perform the goods receipt. That's something we have to do in the Ariba itself. This activity, the buyer, they have to do and after receiving the goods that invoice will be created so basically from the invoice point of view that we have the two options one option is that like uh, that uh, the supplier with the supplier they can create the invoice themselves on the ariba network and the same invoice information will also be reflected in the buyer side this is one case and in second case in certain case if the supplier they are submitting some hard copy invoice we'll talk about the uh, that other case like in uh, in few minutes so in certain cases if the supplier they have submitted that hard copy of the sub invoice so in that case we have to create that invoice like in our ariba site manually that's something we have the option 
and once the invoice will be created so based upon the configuration what system will do system will perform the two way and three way match so basically like uh, you know we have the another term in the sap riba that is invoice reconciliation so what will happen like once invoice will be created so system will start that uh, like a rec reconciliation of the invoice so reconciliation of invoice is nothing that means that a validation of the invoice so based upon that like uh, configuration that system will start the two-way match or three-way match if your site is configured for the two-way match system will perform the two-way match that means from invoice to purchase order and if your system is configured for three-way match then system will perform the three-way match that means purchase order receiving and invoicing so in that case system will check all that conditions all that configuration so for example if you have configured the invoice tolerances if you have configured that like you know that uh, conditions for the purchase order quantity equal to that invoice quantity that means the system will check how much quantity is like posted in the invoice and how much quantity we have raised in the purchase order so accordingly like if the system will find any like you know that the issue or any that is like a differences in that case system will raise the exception so it will send the exception like uh, it will like uh, send the exception to the invoice manager or invoice agent and the invoice agent they have to come and they have to like uh, correct that exception manually so this part also we will see in the system like uh, how the exception is looks like and how we have to like you know rectify that exception okay so this is something just high level like it like a p2p process that a, every company they have to follow who is like uh, purchasing the goods for their business purpose all right all right <clears throat> now one more thing here so you know like uh, how like uh, what are the ways are available to create that purchase equation in the sap ariba that's something also we have to discuss so before going to in this let me just go back in the sap so i i hope like uh, most of the people are from the sap background so they can easily understand so you know like whenever we have to create the purchase equation in the backend sap system so we have the two option one option is that we can simply create like uh, you know like uh, with, with with the help of the metal master that means we can select the metal master and we can simply create the purchase equation that is the uh, first option second option is that in certain case if we do not have the metal master so in that case without metal master we can also create so in that case what we have to do we have to simply like uh, uh, just add the sort text so with the help of sort text we can create the purchase equation in the backend sap system so same way same functionality is also available in the sap ariba and we can use that functionality to create the requisition so basically that those functionality or those process is not called as a, not the same same way so we have different term in the sap ariba so first term is called as the catalog in case of the ariba that means catalog pr okay so catalog pr is nothing catalog pr just like as a material master so same way we have to that we will also have that catalog part as a material master in the ariba and we can simply select that catalog just to create the pr this is one case second option is that non catalog 